Hello, David Snowpack here. Today I'm going to record a short video in English uh, to go along with an article on my blog. I'm going to try and switch between English videos and Polish videos more often so that you can practice listening uh, in English as well. Anyway, uh, in this video I'm going to do two things. Number one, I'm going to walk you through how to use Memrise.com uh, which is a website that helps you learn words and phrases in a foreign language. I've been using it for about uh, two or three weeks, learning how to read a menu in Chinese. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm learning Chinese or want to read my full review of Memrise, please read the article on my blog. There are links in the description below uh, and on top of the video. Number two, Carrie and I are going to go eat at a Chinese restaurant. Um, and we're going to record the whole thing, so you can come with us. All right, let's go. All right, here is Memrise.com. You can log in with Facebook. Here is my home screen after logging in. Here are the courses I'm taking. You can see Learn Basic Chinese, Read a Menu. Here are all the levels in this course. Memrise has a very unusual metaphor that you plant a new level and then water old items in order to review them. So each level is a plant. <laughs> First you plant it and then you water it. You can see that I have 14 items that are ready to be watered. So when I first log in I come here and click water 14 items. That is beef. Yeah, it's asking me uh, what is this Chinese character, and I have to type the English for it. That is meat, the other meat. That is chicken, chicken egg noodles. That is this one. That is egg. beef fried rice. So here's beef fried rice. And here you've seen I've just completed my watering session. <laughs> I can continue watering or I can go back to my course. Um, you can see that I got all the answers correct. I earned this many points. I'm gonna go back to the course. When you learn a new level, you are planting it. So let's go to a level I haven't done. Uh, five more dishes. Here are all the items that will be in this level. Those are all the things I'm going to learn. To begin, I click Start Planting. Soy sauce fried rice. OK, so this part means soy sauce. That's fried, and that's rice. Now I have to choose a mem to help me remember it. <laughs> yeah, actually I think this one's the best. Uh, this is what each of those characters mean. That'll help me remember this the best. Sauce, oil, fried, rice. All right, now I'm learning preserved vegetables and pork noodles. And then we simply start reviewing what we've learned, just like before when I was watering. So green vegetable and pork noodles. Hmm, that was green vegetable shredded pork noodles. I think this one. Ooh, I got it wrong. It was this one. Yeah, green vegetable meat shredded noodles. Red braised pork noodles. I think that's this one. Yes. <laughs> and then you continue to learn the new items and review, learn new items and review until you are done with the level. So that was Memrise. As you can see, there are many more languages you can learn and many more courses that you can do. If you're interested in my full review of Memrise, please read the article on my blog. There's a link below. 
All right, we're about to go to a Chinese restaurant so I can practice reading the menu, see how much I can read after uh, learning on Memrise for a couple weeks. We're bringing our chopsticks, which we bought in Chinatown in San Francisco. It's gonna be awesome, I love Chinese food. Let's go. What is your favorite Chinese food? Uh, cream cheese wonton. So what's your favorite Chinese food? My favorite Chinese food is vegetable fried rice. Okay, so the menu does have Chinese on it, however, I don't know very many of the characters. I recognize this one is cow, and this one is meat, so that means beef, and I've got beef tenderloin. There's another beef, beef, beef. Oh, and that one means fried, that third character right there. So I can recognize a little bit, but I think I need to spend more time before I can really read the menu. smells good. Mm, very good. I think I might just get some soup. Okay, I gotta find my zodiac. I actually never really paid attention to the Chinese zodiac, so I'm not sure which one is me. I gotta find 80, which would mean 81. Uh, geez, 84. Pig! 1983. Those born under the Chinese zodiac sign of the pig are extremely nice, good mannered, <laughs> and tasteful. That sounds really complimentary. How was your food? It was fantastic. How was yours? It was delicious. Now our fortune cookies. Let me see. You will be fortunate in the opportunities presented to you. I like that. Now is a lucky time for you. Take a chance. Mm.